Fox's Lower here. We have some breaking news. As Trey mentioned, top of the hour, the situation is tense near the border with Lebanon. And Jonathan Hunt is following this from Los Angeles. Jonathan, what do you see? Well, Dana, what we are hearing now is that there has been some sort of incident right on the border uh, between Israel and Lebanon, up in the north of Israel there. Uh, we're waiting confirmation from the Israeli Defense Forces, but what we are hearing is that there was some sort of explosion at a border checkpoint near Hanita. That is right on the, is the Israeli border with Lebanon. And as a result of that explosion, uh, the Israeli troops there are unleashed artillery fire across the border into Lebanon. Now, that strip of southern Lebanon is where the main Hezbollah setups are. Now, that is significant because Hezbollah is a far better armed, far better organized organization than Hamas is. And if Hezbollah were to enter this conflict, it would change the face of what is going on in the Middle East entirely. You only need to look back at 2006 uh, when the very very similar thing happened. The kidnapping of Gilad Shalit, an Israeli soldier, down uh, and taken into Gaza. Then three weeks after that, Hezbollah started firing rockets across the border. There was a, a cross-border skirmish then, a relatively small-looking incident at the time, but it turned into a full-blooded war between uh, Israel and Hezbollah. That is the thing that people fear now, that Hezbollah could come into this. And if Hamas is backed by by Iran, as we know that it is financially, the ties between Hezbollah and Iran are far greater, far more organized. And it is safe to say uh, that Hezbollah will not act without Iran knowing about it, giving its go ahead. So if Hezbollah up in Lebanon gets involved in this conflict, it changes the face of everything, Dana. It is not going too far to say that it is an absolute game changer if this stretch into Lebanon and a war with Hezbollah. Thank you, Jonathan. And the pictures you're seeing on sure. to the left of your screen there, Bill, is that is the border of Israel and uh, Lebanon. We don't know specifically if that's the site that Jonathan was just speaking to, but obviously there is some activity mm -hmm. in that part of the world.